To help us begin lesson um, six, or to review lesson six, solving problems by using equivalent ratios, I'd like to review this problem. At the beginning of the year, there is one middle school student for every seven high school students in the select chorus. By the end of the year, for every three middle school students in the chorus, there were five high school students. The number of the students in the chorus was the same throughout the year, and there were 49 high school students at the beginning of the year, how many middle school students were in the chorus at the end of the year? Whew! I don't know about you. That is a lot of reading and a lot of work. So you really have to kind of try to keep yourself organized. They're talking about two times. The beginning of the year and the end of the year. Label it. They're talking about two different students, middle school and high school. At the beginning of the year, it was a 1 to 7 ratio. At the end of the year, middle school to high school students, it was 3 to 5. Okay, so, so far, that has helped you organize. Let's go back and reread. There were 49 high school students at the beginning of the year. So go to your nicely organized work. At the beginning of the year, the number of, sorry about that, high school students was 49. Well, for every seven high school students, there was one middle school student. So we have to take this 49 and break it into seven equal parts. 49 divided by seven means that seven is going to go in each one of these parts, which means at the beginning of the year, there were seven middle school students in the select chorus, which gives us a total of 56 students in the select chorus. Okay, now this is the cool thing about this word problem. The total number um, of boxes used between middle and high school students was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over here, the ratio is different, but the total of the ratio is the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can take this 49 and what we broke it into and help us. 7, because they were the same, the total of the ratio is the same at the beginning as the end, we can use the same part total. There should be 21 middle school students and 35 high school students for a total of 56 students. The number of students in the club stayed the same throughout the year, but how many middle school students were in the chorus at the end of the year? It was 21.